And then you guys obviously created a dope brand, uh, Henny Palooza, which toured. I mean, some for forever. Then to Duce Palooza, sh- yeah, uh, yeah. Duce Palooza is it? It's Duce Palooza now, or is it? Is it still a thing? It's not a thing. No. Okay, it's done. I don't know if I'm officially allowed to say that, but we're not. We're not coming back. It's over. Yeah. Sorry if I we End didn't have like era. more of a a wow. whole closing type thing. But yeah, we we ended at the Barclays. Um, That's a way. To COVID. Do it. I, seriously, jokes aside, was a, a huge part of that. And then also after COVID, like we all got kind of old. Right. Like that shit becomes exhausting. When you're traveling around the world, drinking, yeah, okay. like a lot, yeah, um, yeah, it becomes really, really tiring. So, I mean, it, it was an era. It was an incredible thing. I, I think it's in the lineage of parties within the culture. Like, I, I think it's up there. And no way am I like saying we're the tunnel, but for our era, like that's a staple for our era as far as what was going on in hip hop at the time with parties. And 100%. I think we changed how parties are now. Like the day party is the thing now. The branded party is the thing. Right. The clubs, it's the, thing. Every- the clubs are are you know have been dying. I think they're trying to make a comeback with these these new set of kids. Yeah, these new listen, set of kids just, are naive. I just opened a club in Scottsdale, and it's like a, it's been fucking great. Mm. It's been amazing. But you know, we've been lucky. We kind of filled. There was no hip hop clubs left in AZ, so we opened yeah. a spot and opened it right before Super Bowl. Whatever happened to that rapper Juice from? He goes by Richie Evans now. He was really dope. Still is dope. Richie's dope. He's um, OG Muggs. My boy OG Muggs manages him, who's like Tech 9 security and E40 security. And uh, he, just, he just performed at Gary V's VCon. Okay. <laughs> a little different than Black Wall Street, but yeah. He goes by Richie Evans now. He was dope. I always liked Juice a lot. Juice was dope. Yeah. The Black Wall Street. And then we had Hot Rod, who was signed to G-Unit. And then we had Willie North Pole, who was signed to... Ludacris. I remember Willie North Pole. And of course I remember Hot Rod. Hot Rod had a record with Mary J. He did. Be, it was called Be Easy. Mm-hmm. And you Mary know, the thing about Hot Rod too. is he still lives in Arizona. He's kind of like a social media, like he runs some funny pages and stuff. Shout out to him. I think it's the shit's Good Times Jackson on Instagram. But he was really from Sacramento. So Arizona really never uh, embraced him like that because he was a, he was from Sacramento. Okay. Well, he, I mean, but, we, you know, we all thought he was from he Arizona. He repped AZ. That was a weird time in, in G-Unit. To begin Super with. weird. That was like when you could you could tell it was like, you know, I, w- I remember when I was super excited that MOP and Mob Deep were on G Unit. Blood I, Money, I, was, I, Blood Money was a decent album. There were some no, good singles on there. Um, uh, MOP never dropped an album on G Unit, did they? Not that I remember. No, yeah. but I, I thought even in my young naive time at that when they signed Mob Deep, I love Mob Deep, and I didn't think it was over for Mob Deep. I just thought it was weird that G Unit was signing acts older than them and i was like this is odd the mop signing and, and love I'm mop huge. warriors is one of my favorite albums i fucking love mop i just i was like this is cool like mm. shout out to I, as a kid i wasn't thinking to myself like why is 50 signing guys that are older than him and underground as fun yeah i was just like this is lit like i didn't think anybody was like the mop but me you know what i'm saying like i just figured it was all some petty shit behind the scenes because it wasn't MOP on Rockefeller. Yep. Then I think. Yes. And then there was something, there was some other G Unit petty beef that he also signed. That the actually Mob makes thing. a lot of sense. There was like, something going on. Fuck you, Hove. I'm signing MOP. By the way, the You Don't Know remix. It's the only version of the song I prefer. Yeah, I agree. Blueprint 2. You know what I mean? I'm glad this is the only podcast I can have juice conversations on. This is why. Sorry I didn't come with my regular press run shit. I just want to talk about Juice from Arizona. Shout out to Juice. <laughs> Richie Evans. Um, 